Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, a brand new day. It is a brand new day. My hair is going to irritate me all morning. It is 7, 11 a.m., the 20th of November, Sunday. Wow. Um, I just took a shower. Finally managed to make it. Uh, two hours it took, approximately. I am tuckered out. It takes a lot of energy to take a shower. Because I only have about 20 minutes of stand-up time before I'm using up all my reserve. And it takes about an hour, hour and a half to take a shower. Literally standing inside the shower stall to take a shower. Because I can't move very quickly with my fibro. And it's a really small space. If I am standing in the shower stall with the door to my right facing the uh, apparatus where the water sprays out. If I lean forward, I go bonk. If I go forward any more than I you know lean forward like this I go bonk up against that thing I lean back a little bit and then I'm leaning up against the wall and then there's the door off a little bit and then there's the other wall it's a really tiny little shower stall I gotta make sure my shirt's back behind my back <clears throat> if it rides up so that my skin and my back is against the chair it hurts I'm very delicate skin it's irritating so I took that shower and now I'm my hair is partially dried and aching and awful. I've hated my hair my whole life. I'm sure it's fine hair. And if I had any other hair, it would have driven me any, it would have driven me even crazier. So, I mean, I've always wanted straight hair, but straight hair would probably have been even worse. So, I just got all these, you see all these finger waves I've got in my hair? I mean, that's, my mother told me when I was really young that I would have women jealous of me all my life because of my finger curls, finger waves. And I just get finger waves just by fire and forget. Now I got finger waves galore. Also, yesterday, you see my part of my shirt? I bought new clothes yesterday. For the first time in, oh golly. Well, over 10 years, since I've personally purchased any clothing for myself. Most of my clothing has just been hand-me-down from other, you know, from in-laws or such because I and my wife never had enough, a lot of money and then when she died, I had even less. But now, thanks to you all, instead of just having nothing because the, I had down to uh, one pair of jeans and one pair of sweatpants. So I bought two pairs of jeans really nice fitting they're really good they have a lot of nice stretch in them. it's good stuff i bought this t-shirt here because it's you know kind of a, the marilyn monroe shirt but it's marilyn monroe not only as a zombie but kind of, it's kind of a rock and roll uh live fast live live fast live hard die young kind of zombie as well so it's like hey cool i like it what can i say Oh gosh, wow, it's actually got using the right, it's using the right microphone, right uh, resolution, son of a gun. Now aside from my having taken a shower, uh, it's 7.30 so I'm really late. I have woke up and I've been smoking a lot of these lately, I know, joints, pre-rolls. A lot lately but that's because I went through a period where I bought a bunch and now I'm smoking them to get them out of the way then I'm gonna go back to my pipe because I like my pipe better and I have a nice pipe given to me by a uh, contributor a commenter a subscriber somebody sent it to me and it was very nice I showed that in my postcards from the edge I'd lean forward to grab it but it's so far away all I can reach is oh I hope I can reach a lighter Oh my God, wait, there's one. Ah, I even managed to get it with my right hand. The right hand, not the correct hand, the right hand, which is the incorrect hand in my case. I have become left-handed because of damage to my right. Nerve damage. Oh. Now, mmm, mm, tasty. Also helps the purple, purple papa paper paper burn a little more evenly and stops it from running quite as easily.
remember, cannabis is not as bad for you as cigarette cigarettes. For smoking, your lungs hate irritants, granted. And smoking stuff gives, I mean, burning things causes carcinogens. You breathe burning stuff, guess what? You're inhaling carcinogens. That's another reason steak is actually bad for you, because when you cook a steak, red meat, it forms carcinogens all around the places where it heats. The difference, though, is between cannabis and nicotine, is that cannabis, THC, and all the cannabidiols inside of it hate tumors. The THC physically hunts down and kills tumors in the body. And they've done studies where they've checked on a smokers lungs and cannabis smokers lungs and non-smokers lungs and a cannabis smokers lungs even a heavy cannabis smokers lungs are almost as clear as the non-smokers now what I want to do because I'm of course late again is thank uh, 10 to 15 or 15 to 25 people uh, to give them just human recognition shout outs uh, from the comment section so I've called up the comments page and now I'm going to just without reading the comments I'm going to give shout outs to commenters if I mispronounce your name and it's likely that I will if I do it is not out of disrespect I have troubles with just natural normal normal in that I was going to follow up with American English names but you know it's not normal normal it's normal for my culture normal american english names i have troubles with those i mean if i didn't even know how to pronounce my own name i'd have trouble with it my name is easy so no disrespect intended so when i say batmon m-o-n thank you so very very much no not bad that's 11 just one and v town james thank you Thank you so very much for your comment. And let's see. Then there's Lion Mill One. Thank you so much for your comment. And Chris Jericho. I recognize your name, Chris Jericho. I think this is more than one uh, shout out that you've gotten before, but still, thank you so very, very much for your comment. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, Apples. Now, will you five or four? I'll call you five. And then, why am I smoking in this video? Oh, I might as well. Sean Garcia says, why is he smoking in this video? Well, Sean Garcia. I smoke cannabis for chronic pain. I take 20 milligrams of methadone daily, and I smoke cannabis like a chimney. If I just take can uh, methadone, I'm going to be bedridden. If I just smoke cannabis, I'm going to be bedridden. I put them together. I'm doing great. I don't know why, but the combination of the low amount of opiates and cannabis does perfect. I am an opiate success story in that I've been on opiates for 12 years and I'm not addicted in that, you know, I've got to have it or anything. In fact, I commonly forget to take my methadone. In fact, I'm usually, when I start going through withdrawal, go, oh, how many times did I take this today? Well, I'm supposed to take it four times. I took it once. Ooh! And so I go take another one of my tabs, stops the withdrawals, stops the pain, and then I can go off and do things. Let's see. Then there's, uh, like six or so, Sporting Fan 18. Thank you for your comment. Satanist. <laughs> Thank you for your comment. <coughs> Satan. <coughs> Maybe not. <coughs> and cough. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, Tigris Toku. Thank you so very much. El Rico. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. I believe you're round number eight and or so ish. And then Gus Pringle. Oh, I recognize your name. Thank you again. Now there's your second comment at least. Or shout out, not comment. Uh, age appropriate advisor. <laughs> I like that name. Oh, yeah, 
dash off. And Snow Reza, thank you so very, very much for your comment. And, oh, well, and Zen Lenning asks, he does meth? And at which point a couple people say, uh, no, it's methadone and, uh, and marijuana. Yeah, it's not meth amphetamine, it's methadone. It's an opiate painkiller. It's a very powerful one. People, they also use it for people that are uh, detoxing off of heroin, but cannabis is better than that. It is an opiate painkiller. I don't feel anything but painkiller, painkilling when I take methadone. I mean, literally, I feel nothing. It's not like any opiate that I've taken before. Every other opiate I've ever taken, there's euphoria and painkilling. Even when I started taking methadone, all I've ever gotten from it was painkilling. I've not gotten euphoria or anything else from it. It's like taking sugar pills that kill pain. That's why I'm an opiate success story. I, I forget to take them. So, then there's Creepy Creepy. I think you're number, oh, that's just 11, I believe. And, uh, oh wow, that's not an English letter, but it's like Frieder Jacobson, F-R-I, non-English thing that looks like a D and then you are Jacobson. Thank you very much. I think you're like number 12 or so. Down on the dog end, but that's okay. It's not killing me either. Uh, Maya Riley, I think you're like 13. Thank you so very, very much. And uh, <laughs> Dean Holt, Gamer Guy, says he's so high, he probably thinks there's real people doing these tricks for impossible GTA 5 tricks. I don't get high on pot anymore. In fact, when I started smoking this, uh, very first time, I thought I was going to get high. I remember back when I was, uh, you know, from fourth grade through like... I can't, it was like 10th grade when I finally got caught by my parents and I had to stop smoking pot as a kid. And so I was looking forward to that feeling, but I'd taken so much methadone before I even started taking pot, I don't get really high, which is kind of unfortunate. I feel good. I feel happy. And it kills my pain as if it just goes in and starts going click, 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 click on all the pain switches. But I have to take about five dabs of 80 to 90 percent THC to stuff to get high. And even then you can only really tell because I lose the ability to speak English clearly. But other than that, I don't, this is just, it kills my pain, thank God. And Tag Pro, thank you so very much. I'm just going to comment to a couple more because I've been answering a few of them as I've been going along. My apologies. Uh, Newell APC, thank you so very, very much. And Prince Royce, thank you so very much for your comment. And... Oh, Callus708 says, uh, I'm new to the channel. Can I explain the hand gesture of making an L? It's I just talk with my hands. It's just a shape I do. doesn't mean a thing. It's just a hand out like that. Pretty soon I'll start doing something else. I'll be going like that or like that. Or, it's hard to say. Right now I've just got my hands folded like that. doesn't mean a thing. And Robert Solibuda, thank you so very, very much. Hunter Nolan, thank you again. Again, thank you so very much for your comments. It is greatly appreciated. And then I'm going to do two more and then head on to Danielle Armenta. Thank you so very, very much. And Bob Burnquest. Thank you so very, very much for your uh, comments. It is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. And now that I have done that, it's time to go on to the next thing I like to do because I've sort of slacked off and forgotten to do it in a couple days. 
well, one or two days, but I talk about slacking off. I still don't have the phonetics for some of these, and I'm very sorry. Bon dia, dia guit, le breed, a año a sale, jean dobre, or there's formerly, chest, terra homicos, bari luz, gomarias, buenos dias, dia deed, boreda, yoregelt, matenva, bongerno, dobre utro, bokertov, buno de manata, ohio, camusta, gomorgan, ni hao, priviet, guten tag, calimera, bonjour, Dobre Rano, God Morgan. And Labas Ritas, Labdien, Mesa Olheli, Merhaba, and of course, go forth and have the crack. Now, the crack, of course, does not necessarily mean to engage in crack cocaine or to go find a prostitute and have her spread her legs for you. No, when I say the crack, what I mean is good food, good drink, good friends. Doesn't even have to be alcoholic drink. As long as it is good drink, good food with good friends. Crisp, clear water. Thumbs up. We are 16 minutes into this, and let's see if I have anything else that I wanted to say at all. I'm quite sure there was. I've got some more mail that I'm going to be doing uh, on Tuesday morning, uh, another wrap-up of Postcards from the Edge. And I want to talk, of course, but I'm not going to be able to do it today. I want to talk about, of course, my little hammy. I woke her up. <laughs> my little babies. Because, of course... As stated, I keep hamster cages right next to me. Now I've got old little babies. They're in this cage right next to me. My little baby. Now I've got three of the little babies. The fourth one is still in there. And we were going to take them to the pet store the other day. Didn't make it out of town. I actually stopped at a place in town to get pet supplies. Walked in carrying one of my baby hamsters. It was a little male. And because I take them with me everywhere. So we have the hamsters in the car and so I had to take one into the store with me. And while I was in there, one of the cashiers saw the hamster because I put it on the counter. And she loved it so much that we gave her the baby. And then one of the other workers there saw that and went, oh, I need a, a hamster for my daughter. And so we took him out of the car and he got a hamster. So cool, we gave, hey, hey. This one's, she's getting older. And as they get older, they become more sexually mature, of course. And when they become more sexually mature, that's when they need to be separated. These little gals need to head to the pet store fast. She periodically gets separated because she keeps fighting. But she's also at the age where she doesn't feel happy when she's alone because she's not fighting all the time. She just fights periodically. And she doesn't fight to kill. It's dominance. So. But still, I managed to get rid of a couple little guys. And we're going to take some more of these little fellows off to the, to the pet store here soon. So thumbs up on that. Okie dokie little feller. I gotta put you away because what I want to do is finally... Hey, if you can... If you could press the uh, like button down there, that would be awesome. You don't have to, of course, press the like. If you dislike, then press the dislike button. I prefer a like, uh, but you know what? YouTube counts both dislikes and likes as interaction. So even if you give me a dislike, YouTube's saying, hey boy, you're doing something right. I prefer a, a, a like, but so. And if you'd like to subscribe, that would be awesome very very appreciated but don't feel the need if you don't want to don't just go well i'll do it for now and then and then drop me later because you know do you really want me cluttering up your feeds if you don't want to watch so if you feel like it please subscribe thumbs up you take care have a great day i've got to separate her she's i shouldn't have brought them out so you take care have a great day i gotta take her out for a while and have a very good time i'll see you on the flip side